Hello folks. Well, today we're going to talk about super glue. You know, super glue was first developed by scientists at Eastman Kodak. You know, specifically Harry Coover. He was trying to design gun sights for the military during World War II. Well, they actually found out that some of their failed attempts had other useful properties and cyanoacrylate superglue, CA, was born. But while the glue has become well known for fixing pottery and clothing during the World War II, Korea, and Vietnam Wars, it became life-saving. If somebody had a chest wound or open wound that was bleeding, the inventor Harry Coover once told the Kingsport Times News the biggest problem they had was stopping the bleeding so they could get the patient back to the hospital. Otherwise, as you know, the consequence was that many people would bleed to death. So the medics actually sprayed the glue that it was sprayed on and that stopped the bleeding. They were then able to get the wounded back to the base hospital and many, many lives were saved. This also worked for us while we were in Vietnam as I saw it used there myself. When 1972, I began getting involved with larger RC airplanes, especially Lou Andrews Aeromaster, of which I had built many and was flying them in the contest like the Maldi Wing Nationals in Omaha, Nebraska. Actually, here's a picture of my first trophy, fourth place, first contest I ever entered. I uh, love that uh, Aeromaster, great big biplane. The whole point of this video is actually to show how great the CA glue is for modeling. The demos at the end of the video are really extreme. Because balsa airplane wood is light and easily broken, I would never ever think of building another balsa model without my hot stuff. Later on then I got involved with sheeting wings like the wings of my Bill Evans scimitars and Astron X-Wings. Uh, those wings were actually foam core covered with balsa sheets or 164th ply. Well before YouTube I was actually writing many articles and magazines including this one which shows me attaching the sheeting to the foam wing with core film. It was a very thin double sticky back tape. It was a pleasure to use it, especially over the spray adhesives like 3M, uh, which got all over everything. So you see, most balsa sheets are only four inches wide, and it's really a tough to make a larger sheet, uh, especially a big wing sheet, and uh, cover it with regular glue like Ambroid. The joints would become extremely hard to sand in the middle where the glue oozed out. So when hot stuff first came on the scene from Satellite City, in the early 70s. It was really a big hit with the modelers at the time, as you can imagine. And that's because our choice glue at the time was that ugly orange ambroid. It was strong, including the smell, which would knock you out, but it actually took too long to dry and it was really hard to sand. Well, Satellite City was actually founded by the father and son team, Bob and Bill Hunter. The name Satellite City actually comes from the free flight competition series planes called the Satellite, which were designed by Bob in 1957, then redesigned in 1970 by both Bob and Bill. Well, these models were extremely successful in competition, and some are actually still used today. So starting in 1970, they began offering cyanoacrylate instant glues to the hobby market. This revolutionized model building. Gone were the days of pinning and waiting and eternity for the adhesive to dry. You see, with hot stuff glues, Permanent bonds could actually be made in a matter of seconds, not hours. And in 1986, both men were actually honored with the very first Academy of Model Aeronautics Technical Award for their outstanding technical contribution to the modeling community. Although Satellite City products were praised by the hobbyists, the appeal of hot stuff was not limited to model airplanes. The speed, strength, and reliability of Satellite City adhesives impressed people from many industries, and before long, hot stuff was being used in even the most demanding applications. For example, on December 14, 1986, the full-scale model Voyager stunned the world when it became the first aircraft to fly all the way around the world without stopping or refueling, and Satellite City was proud to be the supplier of that project. On top of that, Satellite City was honored again to be the supplier for scaled composites. They built Spaceship One, which completed the first privately funded space flight on June 21, 2004. When I began using hot stuff, I could build a full-size Aeromaster in only two days versus a couple of months. 
And later on, glue accelerators actually became uh, popular, and this caused the glue to actually dry immediately once you sprayed this on. Uh, then came the thicker versions of the super glue, like this special T. Okay, and uh, that's when the accelerators really came in handy because you could fill a gap, instantly spray it with this, and it would dry right away. A really great tool to come along. And before accelerators, we actually used micro balloons or baking soda to dry the glue in a hurry, and that filled the gap. So here I'm going to demonstrate how that works. Plus, I'm going to show you how to join the two pieces of balsa wood together with the original thin formula hot stuff. So here we go. So here's what I'm going to do for my test. I'm going to spray the quick onto the rafter right up there. And then I'm going to put the super T onto this metal hinge and I'm going to push it up there. And uh, we're going to see how strong it is. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to take the uh, special T, open this up, and I've got the NCF quick, and I'm going to spray the wood up here. The wood may not be as strong as the steel, and I'm going to put a couple drops onto this metal bracket, and uh, I'm going to attach this dolly, which weighs 61 pounds, if I can lift it up there without killing myself. I'm going to put it on a hook. So let's give this a shot, see how this works. So first of all, I'll climb up here, take the quick and spray this. I like this because it doesn't stink like the old stuff that I've used to using. And I'm going to put a drop of the Super T hot stuff, Satellite City, up here. There it is. And this should instantly dry. Okay. I think it's dry now. I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot. And within 30 seconds, that should be totally cured. Now, I'm going to put this hook up there. Still strong enough. Let's see which is the best way to do this. And now I'm going to try and lift this up. Let's see if it'll hold 61 pounds. So. There it is. That's 61 pounds on there right now, and it's holding nice and tight. So, oh, that sucker is heavy. So let's just see. We can hold my weight. Put this bag on there. I weigh 210 pounds. So, I'm going to try and hang from this thing. See if it can hold my weight. I'm going to my hand. So let's... No, I can't hold 200. <laughs> well, as you can see, totally pulled the wood off. It didn't break the glue, it pulled the wood off up here. So I'd say that's pretty good in only a few seconds. Okay, here I have an uneven piece of wood and uh, this is what's nice about using the special teeth thick stuff. You can actually fill the gap. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some right here, just like this. And I'm going to set this down. And as you can see, this is uneven. It's not going to dry because that's the thick stuff. 
and I'm gonna hit it right now with the uh, quick, like this. Now, if I wanna put some around the edges to build up that gap, I can do that like this. And again, hit it with the quick. And there we go. Nice, good, strong bond here. That's very good. So that's how that works. I can't even break it off. Finally. And then see, it actually pulled the wood apart. You can see here, so the glue is stronger than the wood. Uh, using the hot stuff, original formula, this is the thin stuff, and I've got the uh, super duper little applicator on the end here, which I really like. And the way this worked is real easy. You would just take your pieces of wood and put them together and take the hot stuff and run a small bead just like this down that crack. And then hit it with the quick. You can see that that's perfectly, perfectly sealed. Nice joint. Works perfect. Especially perfect for sheeting. So that's really easy to do it that way. And that's, that saved a lot of time, believe me. <laughs> so there you go, folks. These are all pretty extreme tests, but for model airplanes, you can bet the balsa will break before the glue, just like these 2x4s would broke. You know, it's great stuff, and it was a fantastic item back in the 70s, and still is today. I hope you've become a little enlightened about super glues, and hope you subscribe for more videos from Mr. Herbert's science class. Thank you, Satellite City, also. Your products were a welcome addition to our flight boxes back in the day, and they still are today. So build fast and fly easy. This is Dave, the Night Flyer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.